we got up very, very early to leave because it's about an hour and a half away to Detroit. But here's my fit. So I actually made this sweater myself with a sewing machine and fabric. Like, that's actually crazy. Wearing some thrifted Harley Davidson jeans and these also thrifted Reeboks. Such a good thrift find, by the way. Have my hair in a braid because I'm lazy and my hair is greasy. So here we go. We're going to the U.S. So the first stop obviously has to be Target. Okay, that's the one reason we come here. I found these really cute little candles. In love with them. Super cute bar cart. Also in love. So many good hair products, you guys. Like, I don't know what it is about Target and self-care products. I love. So many cute minis. The It's a 10 mini. The Sun Bum mini. I'm literally dying. I wanted it all. But unfortunately, I cannot have it all because I can't afford it. Also had the cute star face patches. Never knew that they actually like sold these in a store. Also these cute perfumes that actually smell really good. I love the packaging so much. Super cute little planter baskets for only $5. Canada could never. Also the bowl plates. Their home section is just so adorable. It's literally the whole reason we went to Target. And don't sleep on the kids section, you guys, because look at all these super cute little, like, wicker things. They also have this super cute little wicker lamp that I really wanted. And these super cute mirrors. Look at that wicker one. And then the pom-pom one. Oh, my God. I wish it matched. The cutest little, like, throw pillows also in the kids section. Super cute fleece sweater. I kind of love it. It's giving Patagonia dupe. That was cringy. I'm sorry. Also, this, like puffer coat that reminds me of that one puffer coat from aritzia so that's like an actual dupe also the super cute shirt uh, that i literally have on my pinterest immediately bought and these super cute like maxi skirts never find maxi skirts anywhere so and then we checked out and i spent oh, way too much money then we went to wendy's and like i know like the fast food is always different in the u.s because like the food centers are very different it definitely tasted a lot faker but it was actually like really good like it was kind of fake in like a really good way I went to home goods saw these super cute valentine's pillows that i would have all year round although the sayings were kind of stupid but yeah also these super cute little crystal photo frames and this other super cute wicker mirror can you tell i love wicker mirrors here's my fit again because i just looked so cute today i don't know also a pink neutral bullet i love i love and then we went to five below everyone sleeps on five below found these super cute heart mirrors also these inflatable like the inflatable chair oh my god and ottoman and then these super cute rugs for like dorms i kind of love and so much more cute dorm stuff like these cute shelves and the sunset lamp also i was in love with this poster but it was sold out so that was upsetting next was ulta they had the giant Olaplex on sale. And then they also had Bonnie Boost on sale, which I absolutely love. If you have thin hair, you need this right now. Next was TJ Maxx. We're going through this really quickly. I'm like speaking at a mile a minute. Found this super cute purse and then saw that it was $80 and I was like, haha, never mind. Also had so much good hair care, like so much living proof, so much Briogeo, so much dry bar is actually insane. And I was so tempted to get this gel but um i ended up not getting it also so much it's a 10 like literally they probably had every single fucking product under the sun there and then they also had this, this dry bar brush and so much amika it was crazy why go to sephora also really wanted this sika pear spray because it's really good for redness but i ended up not getting it so and then here's just me chilling in tj maxx because why not and then last but not least, I saw this super cute little pajama set and I loved it. Next, we went thrifting. So we went to St. Vincent de Paul, which we went to in my USA thrift vlog. So like, if you want to watch that, I will link it down below. And it was actually so good last time. Didn't really want to look through everything, but here's this cute little shirt. That is so Y2K. 
Also these very like cute little low rise pinstripe pants. Kind of was in love with them. Also found some Converse. And I was really tempted to buy these because mine are like permanently stained but I didn't. Anyways, also this cute little grandma skirt. That like I feel like could be cute on the right person. And then also this cute little lace tank. Super cute and basic. Found this really cool sweater. I don't know. It was just giving me good vibes. I loved it. And then this vintage like 80s ski suit was adorable. It was only $10 by the way, you guys. Love it. And then also cute little Nautica sweater in the men's section. I loved. Next thrift store that we went to was this like consignment store. Not, not so much a thrift store, but they had so much good stuff. So much fur. I loved it. Here's the inside. We had this super, super cute little, little like suede jacket with the tag still on it. I loved it. Also, this Christian Dior suit for $75. Like, that's good. Also, these super cute cowboy boots with fur inside of them. And the lighting was kind of weird in 0.5. So, here it is, like, regularly. You can see the detail more. Their shoe section was insane for, like, women's heels. Loved it. So many cute... Look at these Jimmy shoes. They're actually, like, a cute style. Saw these super cute Stuart Weitzman little, like, dainty heels had to try them on love them like they even look cute with socks on and i like they're just so simple and cute love the chunky heel and then also last but not least there's a super cute little fur overcoat that i loved but it's a hundred dollars next we went to somerset mall and this is the mall we usually go to but had to get starbucks first obviously So first was Urban Outfitters and they were doing 50% off sale so I dug through that bitch. She was this cute little romper I thought would be cute for festivals and this cute little cropped t-shirt that was only $5. Also this adorable white skirt. Loved it. Also had so many cute little socks honestly and they were all on sale so. So here's me trying on my outfit. Still really cute. Love it. I'm obsessed with myself. Here's the t-shirt. I liked it and it fit nicely, but I'm just not a very cropped girl. Like, I get too self-conscious and super cropped crop tops. So, it was kind of a no, but it was actually really cute. And I was really tempted to buy it anyways and just hope to muster up the confidence. But I did not do that. And it only would have been $2.50, so. And then here's the most beautiful, just jaw-dropping top I think I've ever put on my body. Like, this is so cute it's so pretty i was so feeling myself in this as you can clearly tell but it was just wow i loved it it was giving corset and like it fit my boobs perfectly oh my god i was genuinely in love and guess what you guys it was i only paid 15 dollars. 15 dollars for this adorable shirt at urban outfitters that's crazy and then i realized that the bow wasn't out so here it is with the bow out oh my god i could literally cry looking at myself then I tried in the skirt because I thought it was cute on the on the hanger and it was just like, what is it doing? What is happening here? Like what? The waistband doesn't even line up. But that was it. And that's what I got. Then we went to Sun, where they had these cute sweater vests and I also bought stuff at Brandy, but um, I was lazy and didn't film that. So yeah. Then we went to Nordstrom Rack, which we saw these super cute purses that remind me of like those Balenciaga ones almost. Also so many Ugg slippers. Never fucking buy a pair of Ugg slippers full price again because they have 8 million of the North Rack. Also, these super cute Steve Madden heels. Like, I was kind of in love with them and they were only $50. Also, I want to be a Birkenstocks girl so bad just so I can wear fuzzy Birkenstocks because, like, they look so comfy, but that's just not my thing, unfortunately. Then I found these super cute, like, clogs in the kids section. I was actually debating so hard whether I should get these, but they're actually so cute like they're so like unique and fun and so like 70s and they were by steve madden okay they also had them in tan i was genuinely obsessed me showing like the inside for you guys look they have a cute little embroidered heart inside of them that's adorable i was debating so hard whether i should get these they would have been 35 dollars canadian 
and I was like, you know, I don't really need these. I really don't need shoes. I have so many shoes. I really don't need these. And you know what, you guys? I didn't get them. So yeah, I was really sad. I kind of regret it, but like I kind of don't. Anyways, then we went to Olive Garden, like the true Canadians we are, because what does USA have to offer other than Olive Garden and Target? Nothing. So yeah, anyways, it was so good. We ate so much bread. Also, why the fuck is marinara 450? What? It's literally just a sauce for the bread. Like that was kind of a rip off, but it was still really good. And yeah, I had a good time. I always have a good time at Olive Garden. Here's me just chilling in the Olive Garden. I should become a singer. Anyways, and then we went home. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna record my little hall part in the sewing room because it's the brightest part in my house because it's like 10 p.m. So we just got back and so here's everything I bought. Okay, let's get into it. So first at Ulta, I just got this little beauty blender because it was on sale. It's like the Bio, Bio Pure one. It's like, I don't know what's so great about it. I think it's made of recycled materials, but it was on sale for $13. So, got that. Then at Home Goods, um, I literally just got a milk frother because I wanted one, and this one was only $4.99. So, then at PacSun, um, I didn't really film much in there, but I did get this just plain black. Brandy Melville shirt because I just need some basics. From Urban, I ended up getting that red shirt. Yeah, this one. Because I think this is genuinely the hottest, like, most slay top ever. And it was only $15, so. But that's the only thing I bought. Oh, and then at that one consignment store, I bought the Stuart Weitzman shoes. They're super cute, super simple, and I actually really love them. They're, they're so, so cute. Victoria's Secret. My mom actually paid for this, but it's mine. <laughs> but it's just this pajama top because I have the matching bottoms, and it was on sale, so I bought the matching top. Yeah. I bought so many, like, little, like, odds and ends just because, like, I feel like that's what the U.S. is for, you know? Just random little things. And then at Five Below, look, I feel like I've never seen people, like, talk about Five Below. It's genuinely the best, like, discount store, like, by far. I got this little hanging planter for $5. And then I bought the inflatable ottoman for $5. Like, these, they have the chair. I don't really have a use for the chair as much as I have a use for the ottoman. And this is so fun and cool. So, obviously, I bought it. And then I just bought this like door hook, like it goes on your door, um, to hold all my purses. Okay, and then from St. Vincent de Paul, I got this like cable knit sweater that reminds me so much of the oh, Sunday Best, like Aritzia one, like it literally looks the exact same, like the exact same. And it's so cute. What did I pay? $5.99. So. And then I did also get this sweater because I think this is just so fun and unique. Like, it's just so cool looking, you know? It's such a cool girl sweater. So, I bought that. Okay, now for Target. I got so much stuff. First thing I put in my cart was this adorable little bar cart. Like, I don't know what I'm going to put on this, 
but this is so fucking cute you guys i'm actually in love so yeah got this and it was a whole five dollars i also did get this top because i literally oh my god this is so cute you guys like low-key micro trend but also low-key adorable okay and then i got this skirt which is so cute um i have such a hard time trying to find like long skirts so whenever I come across a cute one, I just have to have it, you know? Also, like, this was definitely, like, kind of an impulse, but this is so cool. Do I know what it is? Um, no, not really. It doesn't say what it is. It just says felt trivet. So if anyone knows what a trivet is, let me know. But I'm just going to use it as, like, a little decorative thing. Because I think it's fun and cool, so. And then I also got this cute little decorative tray which is only $3, and it's just going to be like a cute little jewelry tray. And then for my boyfriend, I got him this curl cream for him to try, because, I don't know. And then I also got him shampoo. So, and um, the other thing that I got from Target was a rug. I will insert a picture here. Um, I hope I like it. It was $45, which is like, okay. Um, I'm cheap, and I know rugs are expensive, so I know that's not that bad, but, yeah. Hopefully, it's cute, and I like it, so. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I love making vlogs. I'm not very good at them, but I do enjoy making them and editing them, so. Like this video down below, and make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.